Lights at Coney Island while raising money for the cause on Giving Tuesday. WLWT Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson is live at Coney's Nights of Lights with the impact and what to expect if you head down there this weekend. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Ashley, it's a great night to come out here. In fact, you know, every show needs its own anchors, right? So I worked really hard to find you and Steven, and I think I was able to accomplish my mission right here. Mr. and Mrs. Claus, how about that, you guys? Again, they are anchoring the night of lights out here at Coney Island tonight. Of course, we've been doing this, what, five years now, going five years strong. And again, a great, great opportunity to help out the community here with the Ruth Lyons Children's Fund. It's the holiday night of lights out here at Coney Island. You can see the cars. They are lined up. It is busy tonight. I'm sure the weather has a lot to do with that because you couldn't ask for better weather conditions this time of the year. Early December, we were talking low 60s this afternoon. It's a little chilly now. I can tell you we're down here along the banks of the Ohio River. It does get cool fast this time of the year once the sun dips, but not a bad night. Temperatures will slip through the 50s over the next several hours, getting down into the upper 40s. You can see temperatures are beginning to settle back now. Skies are partly to mostly cloudy. We have have begun to see some clouds roll in, but that's also going to help keep those temperatures a little up overnight tonight. So there you have it. 56 in Hyde Park, Mount Healthy at 57, 57 in Del High, currently 58 in Sharonville, still 60 at the moment over across the river at Fort Wright. So there's those clouds that you saw rolling in before the sun went down and Saturday's rainmaker hot on the heels of that. You can see rain stretching from Chicago back over to around St. Louis. That is Saturday's weather system that will usher in rain tomorrow, followed by much colder temperatures. So if you've got outdoor plans for the weekend, you're in good shape tonight. Again, for the most part, a light jacket, sweater, a hat. You know, something easy, early winter wear. And then on Saturday, not the best of outdoor conditions with the rain off and on throughout the day. But it dries out Saturday night into Sunday, but by then it starts to turn chilly on us. So let me walk you through Futurecast. For the most part, it looks dry through the night tonight. We'll continue to cloud up. There's a chance there could be a sprinkle or shower towards daybreak, but honestly, the more substantial and impactful rains won't move in until after sunrise in the morning. And then it looks like during the late morning into the early afternoon is when the rain will be most widespread. Again, notice it's nothing terribly heavy. Most areas pick up under a half an inch of rainfall and already by four or five into the afternoon, the rain is tapering off, albeit will probably still be left with increasing clouds or at least plenty of clouds and at that point falling temperatures into your Sunday, but at least it looks dry for us on Sunday. So not a bad looking forecast at all tonight. Increasing clouds, mainly dry though. Temperatures only in the upper 40s. That's right. Tonight's overnight low will be higher than our typical high is this time of the year. And then it looks like for tomorrow, the best chance for rain from the morning through the early afternoon. It starts to dry out as we get into the evening. Expect another mild day. It will be a bit breezy at times as well. You'll probably notice that southwest breeze could get gusty, could gust close to 30 at times. But those showers begin to taper off during the afternoon and evening. And then that colder weather begins to move in. And you'll see that on Sunday with the Bengals in town here. Afternoon highs for kickoff. They're only expected to be in the 40s. Temperatures should hold pretty steady with a chilly breeze making it feel like it's in the 30s. Here's your seven day forecast. All right, we dry out on Sunday. The colder weather moves in and boy, next week will certainly help get you into the holiday feel. We're talking about highs much of the week only in the 30s, Ashley, and it looks like on Wednesday you see the icon there. We'll keep an eye on that. The potential is there for a little snow come midweek as well. So next week going to have a much different feel than how it is outside right now. So, you know, Ashley, as I send it back into the studio with you, I'm out here with a light jacket at Coney Island. Next week, we will need the heavy jackets, and I'm sure you will as well. The parka <laughs> going to be a lot colder. Kevin, you know me well, and that hat will come in handy for you next week. Well, coming up...